what is the best film camera of 2022? Even though these things aren't made anymore, film cameras and shooting on film is on the rise and you are dying to get your hands on one right now, I bet. I have the answer for you and it's pretty easy to say that the best film camera is definitely gonna be of 2022 i want to say thank you so much for being here if you love film and developing and want to learn all that you're in the right place i'm launching a newsletter called film friends newsletter that will feature community film work tips on film photography shooting and developing and any awesome articles i found to help you become a better film photographer you can sign up for this first week right now with the link in the bio there's no paywall to join or anything i just want to start this community to help you guys become better film photographers so hit the link down in the bio and join us to make something awesome together to launch this newsletter i'm going to actually give away this camera it is the elon two with the Tamron 28 to 80. It's a pretty beginner camera, but it's awesome. It can still shoot just as well as a lot of the other cameras. And what's cool is it's interchangeable with modern glass, and that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna give this bad boy away to one of the first subscribers to the newsletter, and you only have two days to enter. So join that newsletter, hop on, and I'm gonna give this away to one of you new subscribers. What should you look for in a film camera? How can we determine what is good and what is junk? And what is the best camera? Well, I will spoil the ending a bit. The best camera is what's best for you and not the most expensive or the prettiest optically. It's the best for you. Sometimes it's just a feeling. Sometimes you get it and it is your persona. Um, even though this Mamiya 645 is a little more expensive it kind of has become my look it's kind of what i like to shoot on what really motivates me but maybe it's an old vintage camera that has uh you know nothing to help you just everything's raw and, and just meaty oldness you know sometimes that's what you want to grab too maybe it's something with autofocus it's really just what's best for you there's so many other things to look for in a camera as well 35 six by six the Mamiya 645, maybe you wanna go big, like the Willem Verbeek or the community, and you wanna go six by seven on that big camera. If that's the style of shooting you wanna do, do that. So what do I think that the best film camera of 2022 is to me? It is the AE-1, because I want to shoot more 35 this year, and I want a camera that is reliable, that is gonna work, those lenses everywhere, I own it already. It's just a really basic camera, and because it's so basic, then I can focus on increasing my photography skills and falling more in love with 35 millimeter film. There are other 35 millimeter cameras that are gonna be great. Uh, they're all over the place, you'll find them. The OM-1, I really enjoyed using that camera. I've got a Fujinon and a can another Canon right here, but the AE-1 is just classic. All other cameras are trying to attempt to be this one. So I'm just like levitating straight to this one. So this is kind of the camera I've chose. I really want to use more 35 millimeter film in my work. I am, like I said, shooting a lot on the 645, but the 35 has been something that I really want to get into. More shots per roll, a little bit more portable. I really want to carry this around more often because it is small and compact. Another reason I want to carry this around is because I want to show my skills to help you guys learn that you can shoot awesome film photography on any camera and get the look you want from even this camera. But I have another reason for you to take action on here. What camera is best for you well, a ton of people in the photography and the videography community ask the question, what is the best camera? And that's a question that goes around a lot. So what is that best camera? Well, the answer is always a resounding, the camera that you have with you. It sounds like a cop-out answer, but let's break it down. You are the one taking the image and an image of the Grand Tetons or the oceans or a skateboard hitting a trick position, the lighting hitting something just right. If you were there and you had nothing with you, could you even take the shot? 
This is often the argument that your phone is the best camera that you can own because it's always with you. So I would challenge you, the film photographer, what is the best camera for yourself? Well, maybe it is a camera that's small enough that you can keep with you at all times. What works for you, what's reliable? How can you use your camera every day and capture all the moments that are around you? It might be fun to bring on something big and it might be really cool images, but ultimately, a smaller camera will be with you more often, so maybe that is the choice that you gravitate towards. And I might want to upgrade this in the meantime. Again, I've got some other cameras that I like that are 35 millimeter, but I usually like to go on the cheaper side if it has a quality image like this camera. That's what I like to gravitate towards. But if something more expensive leans your way and that's something that will motivate you and get you out shooting more, like a Leica or something more expensive, then go that route. Choose that to be your camera and if that's getting you out the door and shooting more often and shooting in cool places, do that. A camera that I'm eyeing right now that might be my motivation are these cameras that are custom painted in Japan of like Canon P's or they do Leica's as well, but something like that is just like really cool, a pop of color. So what motivates you, what takes you into the streets? Hit me up in the comments and tell me your whole story about what's motivating you. And don't forget to jump on the newsletter, guys. Again, I am giving away this Elon 2, a basic camera to get you out shooting. Maybe you don't have one, or maybe you need another one in your arsenal. This one shoots some awesome images. So join that newsletter. It's gonna have a lot of awesome stuff that you guys are gonna love. Artist features, tips and tricks, things that I find that you would love to learn about. So sign up for the newsletter down below. You only have two days to enter. I'm gonna announce the winner on Wednesday around noon. Hey, it's Will from the future. This video actually was featuring tons of film photography that I have taken on a Canon AE-1. And I wanted to hop on this video and tell you guys all about Nice Film Club. They're the sponsor for this video. They actually developed all of the photos that you saw in this video. I do a lot of developing myself, but sometimes I don't have the time or the energy to develop at home. It is a time consuming process and I do love it, but sometimes I just gotta get some stuff done and I'll send them out. Nice Film Club is an awesome service that you pay a subscription of $99 for a whole year and you get 10 rolls of film developed for free through their service as a part of that. And that service also gets you develop and scan for $9.99 after your first 10 rolls of develop and scan. So essentially your first 10 rolls, you lock those in at $9.99 and then for the future, they're $9.99 after that. I think it's a great service that is really affordable. The scans I got, as you can see in this video, were amazing. I really enjoy them. The guys over there are so knowledgeable and helpful. I really enjoyed that. And one of the biggest things that they're doing is this online gallery. It gets hosted on their platform as being a member of their service. So you can go back and check roles from years and years and years ago. And you can actually see them categorized on there and find those and download them from there. There's a lot of other things that you get for that subscription, but that online gallery hosting has been one of my favorite features. And I really like the scans, how they came out. So definitely check out Nice Film Club, link down below. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Grab your camera, get out and start shooting. Whatever you have, just go do it. Let's go right now.